Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and peace of salutation to all you sincere Akim that's pushing this truth and true sincerity. And this is a response video, but first and foremost, I'm going to get a scripture first. This is Jeremiah 5 and 7. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me. And those children, it's not talking about the whole world. It's not talking about all mankind. Thy children. God's children are the Israelites. This whole Bible is about the Israelites. From Genesis to the Apocrypha to the Revel to Revelation. And you can, you can find the Apocrypha and... Um, the 1611 Bible in Old English, all right, so to speak. The children of God are the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and Israelites that are scattered. In my last video, I said there's going to be people who look like so-called white people who are descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because that's the truth. This isn't some pro-black, back-to-Africa doctrine. Don't believe these other camps like IUIC and ISUBK, all right? And don't believe GLCC as well because they say that Edomites can be saved. Edomites cannot be saved. Now, if you look like a so-called white man or if you look like a so-called Asian or so-called African or so-called East Indian or Arab and you resonate with this message, all right, and you believe in Yahweh Hashem al you are an Israelite, okay? But our, the most of our people have forsaken the Most High. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have forsaken the Most High. And that's all over the Bible. You go to the book of Judges, all right? Israel went off. They sinned against the Lord. They prayed to the Lord. The Lord delivered them. They went to the same thing until in 2024, on July 15th, going on July 16th, we're, we're, we're in, in America, all right? Eating Whataburgers. All right, putting fifteen dollars on uh, pump number ten, working. Okay, we are yet this day in our, ca our captivity, which is slavery, according to Baruch three and eight. We all got to get up and go to work. You know, if you got a business, you still got to work. Okay. So, our we our we we all as a whole have forsaken the heavenly Father. Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. Who are no gods? Jesus Christ, Allah, Buddha, Muhammad, Jehovah. When I had fed them to the full, the Lord fed you to the full with these scriptures. He gave you King David. He gave you King Hezekiah, King Jehoshaphat, Solomon. He gave you the Lord and Savior, Howard Shai. He gave you these words. Then, then they committed adultery. Now, adultery is in a physical form because our people love to talk about adultery, which basically that's a, a low form of homosexuality. Here it is: you get done. This man gets done with his woman, and then you want to go up in her. But then there's spiritual adultery, which is going to these churches and assemble them by troops in the harlot houses. These churches are harlot houses. Now I want to respond, all right, to the officer of Rock. The first video that you see at the top. Everyone and everything is accepted in the church. Check out this video. Like I always say, stop what you're doing and watch this video before you watch mine. GMS still walking circumspectly. Everyone and everything is accepted in the church. And... You know, I was reading the uh, messages earlier today, and on my job, I was passing by a lot of churches. And in these predominantly Edomite neighborhoods, you will see the same thing. All right? Everybody's accepted. Come as you are. Come as you are is not in the Bible. All right? And these 501c3 churches is just a hustle. I, was one, I, I saw one that said, come as you are. Jesus accepts everybody. The Lord's name is not Jesus. There was no J 2,000 years ago. All right. So you see that with these churches, they pro they promote. Uh, it's a basically a business. The, the Christian church is one big trap house. 
okay? The Christian church is one big trap house. I saw one I saw one that said, come as you are, we, Jesus accepts everybody. Then the next block, because down here in the South, the Bible Belt is more churches than um, liquor stores, okay? It's more churches than liquor stores. I seen another one that said, our AC is working, come on in, because these people know that the heat is off the chain. Then I saw another one said, free food on this day. Uh, it was probably a good 30 minutes away from the other spot. But these churches, man, this it's the original trap house. All right. <clears throat> they they want you they want to trap you in these doctrines. As you can see, this is from North Decatur. All right, Decatur, all right, is a county in this godforsaken state of Georgia. Okay, this is North Deca North Decatur United Methodist Church. Young, old, rich, poor. They got it right on that. G A Y Limp Risk Community. Straight CIS. I don't know what the hell CIS is. All these terms they got nowadays. All right, T R A N S. All right, you all you RuPauls, black, white, you are welcome here, and that's the same sentiment in this church. But you got this guy Vocab Malone, who's coming up against the, the sound doctrine, and, and and you know Vocab Malone, hey, he's he has no problem with this. Vocab Malone has no problem with this right here. All right, as you see at the bottom, you got the brother Zakaria, the officer brother Zakaria, response at uh, GMS walking circumspectly. But really, this is the brother's page. GMS still walking circumspectly. He did a response to it, so I'm gonna do a response to it through the spirit. All right, and this this is Babylon the Great. All right, all types of manner of abominations that's going on in these churches, man. And we've we've been at we've been at camp on certain streets where they let two men marry each other and kiss each other in the mouth. Now you saying that the limp wrist community can marry each other, all right, the rainbow community, the guys that got sugar in their tank. What does the Bible say about that? What does the Bible say about two men laying up tank laying up with each other who got sugar in the tank? Cause you got you know, you gotta be careful with your words, man. All right. Leviticus 20 and 13 and the Lord's words don't change read Malachi 3 and 6 uh, 3 and 6 excuse me read Psalms 40 and 6 the Lord comes in the volume of the book Leviticus 20 and 13 if a man also lie with mankind as the life of a woman basically it's two fruity skittles lying with each other especially in this God forsaken city of Atlanta okay you see it every day both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So they're going to get their judgment sooner or later. But you got these churches that saying, if you're a part of the limp wrist community, you can come as you are. Because they don't come in the volume of the book. There's certain scriptures that these Christian churches, they're like, oh, we can't read that. We need the money. Like I said, these churches are one big trap. It's, it's the trap house, man. Okay, it's the trap house. They trap you in with this God loves everybody, and they trap you in with stuff like this. And the scriptures talk about two Skittles, two fruity pebbles lying with each other. They're going to get put to death. That's what the scriptures say. All you RuPaul's, okay, all you RuPaul's out here in Atlanta and on different parts of America, Babylon the Great. Hey, let's get this scripture right quick. Um... Let's, hey, I don't, I don't give a damn if they flat this video or not, man. Let's just get it, man. Deuteronomy 22. Hopefully I can be circumspect with my speech. Because I ain't trying to say them other words. I ain't even trying to say that other word. You know what I'm saying? That's on that screen. All right. Deuteronomy 22 and uh, verses 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You women ain't supposed to be out here wearing pants, wearing these yoga pants. And them yoga pants, man... You shouldn't be wearing those because, well, I'm gonna say it like this, man. You know, with you women, you gotta keep you gotta keep your uh, female body part clean. So wearing a dress that's in your best interest, wearing yoga pants that's gonna create a stench and create a smell. But y'all wanna y'all women wanna be like sexy red. So go ahead. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a neither shall a man put on woman's garments. 
woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination to the Lord. All you RuPaul's out here want to be like a woman and the Lord created you to be a man, you're an abomination. All right. So this this church in North Dakota is clearly going off. And let me get this scripture right quick. All right. Because, oh, the New Testament, the Old Testament, you know. Hey, man, all these words are faithful and true. So you you telling me when the New Testament came in, the God of the Bible said, you know what, man, forget all that. Man, forget all that, man. Nah, man, I'm going I'm to I'm let these Skittles and these limp wrists come in. No. Malachi 3 and 6, for I am the Lord. The Lord's name is Yahweh. I change not. The God of the Bible don't change. Now, these, these churches, they change because it, it's in the best interest of them pocket-wise. Okay? But the God of the Bible, he does not change. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. The sons of Jacob are you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Let me see if I can find another one. Hebrews 13 and 8. Bear me for a sec. Is 13 and 8 or 13 and 18. But yeah, the, the Christian church, all right, especially the black Christian church, is the trap house, man. And I don't know if you people out there are seeing Goodbye Uncle Tom. That's basically how the so called white man beat Christianity into you. He was beating the crap out of you on these plantations. And on Sundays, he gave you Christianity. Even the movie Goodbye Uncle Tom, they showed Negroes, all right, West Indians and Haitians jumping around, dancing and hooping and hollering on a church on Sunday. When it came to Monday, they got beaten in them fields. Hebrews 13 and 8. Now, like I said, the word Jesus didn't exist 2,000 years ago. The Lord's real name is Yahweh Shai. He's from the tribe of Judah. And... Compared to today's standards, he would be a so-called black man because he was a dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah. You so-called Judites, you, you will be called Negroes or African-Americans in today's standards in uh, 2024 A.D. Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. So, for you people who believe that God has a son, because a lot of people believe in the Trinity, which is nonsense. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, came in the spirit of his father, Yahweh. Okay, so he doesn't change like the Heavenly Father don't change. That the, the only begotten son is not dealing with men who wear dresses. Okay? Let's just let's just keep it like that. Alright. So let's let's continue on. Now let's go to Chapter 7. Bear me for a sec. Computer is a little slow. Uh, let's go to Acts chapter 7. Here it is acting slow again, you know. <laughs> Satan ain't liking that, you know. Because, hey, Satan is in these churches, man. All right, I'm just get my Bible and read the rest of these scriptures, man. If it don't pop up. Satan ain't trying to hear all that. Acts 7 and 48. How be it the Most High, the Most High is Yahweh, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Hey, you got a church right down the street. And um, <laughs> they, they would claim that they're the house of God. But there's a Tesla dealership a thousand feet down the road. And guess what? That particular pastor of that church let all these Tesla cars into his uh, parking lot of his church. These guys are just making money, man. It's just a hustle. A lot of drug dealers, a lot of pimps, a lot of uh, game bangers are now pastors. A lot of guys who are swindlers in the world, they're just pastors, man. Acts 7 and 48, how be it the most high dwell of not in temples made with hand. Oh, this is the house of God. Ah! 
as saith the prophet, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? You can't contain the most high until some sleazy AME Baptist church, some sleazy Pentecostal church, some sleazy Methodist church that says God loves everybody, come as you are. You can't contain the Heavenly Father into them to them confines. Because that's an abomination. Alright? And let me get this uh, other scripture. We already got that one. This is, uh, as soon as it loads up, we're going to go to Matthew chapter 16, verses 18. It should pop up in red. This is the words of the Messiah, named Yahweh Shai. Because, like I said, the letter J didn't exist 2,000 years ago. It came around 1521, 1524, excuse me, with John Tresino. During the Renaissance period, the rebirth of the so-called white man. Now, during that period, you had conquistador, conquistador. Excuse me, I'm a little excited. You had con conquistadors. You had Christopher Columbus in 1492. Before that, you had Ferdinand and Isabella of Spain, who financed Christopher Colon, known as Christopher Columbus. During that rebirth period, they re they basically whitewashed all the images man okay and that's history that the so-called white man is trying to take out of history all right so his name is not jesus all right and when you come to these bible belt states especially in the south when you get away when you when you about 30 40 minutes away from atlanta you're going to see all that jesus 316 but as soon as your brown ass steps around somewhere these edomites gonna be looking at you crazy but i thought jesus loves everybody so these guys are hypocrites. These and that, that's these Edomites, man. They're the ones that be like, "Come as you are," but as soon as I step foot in your neighborhood, it's a problem. Okay, what happened to "Come as you are"? Because the Lord made a separation between Jacob and Esau, and uh, what Genesis the twenty fifth chapter. Okay, because Esau is a forger of lies, like it mentions in Psalms uh, fifty eight and three. These Edomites, these red people, they lie. And our people are still believing these lies to this day to the fact that they'll go vote for these two old geezers, all right, that are running for president. But where is voting at in the Bible? Like, I'm, like I did my last, uh, lesson yesterday, where is voting at in the Bible? But nonetheless, this is Matthew 16 and 18. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock... I will build my church. Now, Peter was the head man of the church at the Hawashai passed away. Peter is also named as Cephas. And if you can receive it, Peter was King David in the reincarnation. But that's too far for you Christians, man. All right. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against him. That's not talking about you getting hit with a pitchfork and get hit with a uh, <laughs> little Nicky in hell. So that's another thing. All right. They'll, 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 this is, they're contradicting themselves. They'll say, oh, we come as you are, and then they'll talk about going into hellfire. That hellfire is talking about the thermonuclear destruction, all right, that's coming to Babylon the Great, all right, where it says in Revelation 20 and 14, death and hell were cast into the lake of fire, all right? So let's look at this word church, all right? And then we already brought out Acts 7 and 48. Where the Most High doesn't dwell in temples made with hands. So the Lord is not dealing with these churches that's right next to Popeye's Chicken or right next to, uh, uh, most of these, hey, here in Georgia, most of these churches are right next to a funeral, uh, uh, uh you know, a cemetery, because the land is cheap. All right, if you notice in Georgia, for, you, for the audience out there, most of these churches are next to uh, either elementary school, a liquor store, or a cemetery here in the state of Georgia. I don't know about these other southern states. But here in Georgia, that's where they're near. Now let's get this word church.
All right, that word is uh, G1577, Ecclesia. All right, Ecclesia. And it says, a gathering of citizens called out from their homes into some public place and assembly. It doesn't say some type of church, man. An assembly of the people convene at the public place of the council for the purpose of deliberating. The assembly of the Israelites. Any gathering or throng of men assembled by chance tumultuously. So you're going to see Israelites on those street corners. You got, well, you see them guys in dresses. You know, the real definition of church is to call out, as you see here. It's to call out. We're supposed to be on the street corners. That's what the Apostle Paul did according to Acts the 17th chapter. So you Christians, you're... You're highly discerned, man. You don't know. You don't. You don't read the scriptures. the 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 guy the Bible doesn't say "come as you are," like uh, this uh, erroneous statement right here. All right, this abominable statement right here. All right, the Lord is not accepting uh, limp wrists, CISs, and uh, RuPauls. Okay, the Lord is not dealing with that. All right, so I'm gonna end it off on this last scripture. I had to post it up because the truth is coming out about these churches, man. If you if you still want to get caught up in that, that's on you. You're gonna get up. You're gonna get caught up in that hellfire, which is that thermonuclear destruction when World War Three comes. I know y'all been seeing Putin and these different countries coming up against America. America is weak right now. All right, America is dealing with this uh, so-called assassination of uh, DJ. The, the former guy who used to be president, not trying to run for president again. This place is a joke. Next thing you know, they're going to be saying, pray pray to DJ. You know what I'm talking about. First Corinthians 4. For I think that the most I have sent forth the apostles last. Yeah, the apostles and elders of great millstone. Men who be laboring 40, 40 years telling you about the truth. Telling you about these concentration camps. Telling you about the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Telling you about World War Three and the return of our Lord. For I think that the most I have sent forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death, for we have made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. Oh, y'all got them dresses on. Them, them, they crazy. Get a job. But you're not finding any truth in your church because they accepting any freaking geek in your church and they're not feeding you. Like it says in Acts 20 and 28, it, it, Acts 20 and 28 tells you to feed the church of God. And we just clearly established that church goes back to that word ecclesia, which means to call out. You're supposed to be in public. You're not supposed to be in some trap house called the church. So with that, Lord, when I was edifying to next time, I'm going to say shalom. Like I always say in these uh, response lessons, watch, the, watch this lesson first. All right, the officer brother, a rock, GMS still walking circumspectly. Everyone and everything is accepted in the church. And then you got the brother, the officer Zakaria. GMS never give up. He did a response to the brother's video. So with that, I'm going to say shalom.